Well, folks, here we again for the weekly forecast. The big news during this last week, of course, was for the better part of the period, colder than normal conditions. In fact, uh, sub-zero lows were reported extensively in the panhandle and portions of north central Nebraska several days this week. Lots of single-digit lows, highs that weren't making it past the mid-20s during the middle of the week with some high winds. So it felt very uncomfortable. Yes, we did get a break here and there in you know, a day where we might get up around the freezing mark, but overall a very cold pattern. And then, of course, we had our little weather maker move across the northern plains that dropped some significant snowfall across the Dakotas and skirted northern Nebraska. And now that system is starting to push to the east of us, and we would expect the precipitation will start to tail off. There is still a chance across the eastern half of the state to get some moisture, but overall it looks like the major impact from the storm system will move to our east, and there are increasing signs that we will at least see a respite from some of these bitterly to cold temperatures, but we're going to have to wait till we get into late Sunday and into Monday before the warmer air moves into our region and it has the potential to at least see the 40 degree mark several times next week. So let's take a look at the upper air models and see what we have in place. First thing I'll draw your attention to is we have a large jet, northern jet, bringing the storm system to our east, strengthening it with the big, big winds, uh, basically causing the system to strengthen, and it's moving out to the northeast. On the back side, we're seeing the cold air that'll be moving in, and we are looking for some very cold temperatures during the morning, and we start to see some ridging pattern taking place as that trough moves to the east of us. We start to get into some warmer air as another system comes into the western United States. So we'll be looking at some very nice conditions during the middle of the week. It will look like we're going to see much in the way of significant moisture, and then we start to see the system dig out, and this first system is going to eject out and just skirt southeast Nebraska, move up into the Great Lakes region. Looks like we're going to be mainly precipitation-free. Thursday, we get a break. Pretty much mild temperatures. We're looking a little bit above normal. And then the second trough digs out. This is the one we need to watch. And the current models are indicating that at this point in time, this will just barely miss southeastern Nebraska with snowfall, any northward drift. And we're going to see some accumulating snowfall New Year, or excuse me, uh, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. And if this stays a little bit farther south, then we're looking at a brown Christmas for a substantial portion of southern Nebraska. In terms of precipitation, you can see that the vast majority of the snowfall associated with the system is across Iowa. This snowfall that we're depicting here is for three inches or above, so we could still see some slight light accumulations, but you'll notice that we're basically precipitation free for the middle of the week. And we see the storm system that comes on shore is going to take its time to move its way down toward the southern plains, and then it will eventually kick out. This is our midweek storm that will kick out rapidly toward the Ohio River Valley, and it's the second system as this starts to make its way on Friday and starts to get organized in Texas as the one to watch because this one actually is being lifted much farther toward the north. So you can start to see the input of the thunderstorm activity on the back side of it. We're not showing the snowfall, but remember, we're showing three inch totals. So when we look at the temperature forecast for next Thursday to the following Tuesday, the above normal temperatures start to take sway over the eastern half of the country, and we see that storm track with a precipitation line just to the south and east of Nebraska.